Hi, I'm Terry from Lacrosse Technology, and we're looking at the SkyScan 88901 atomic clock. Uh, when you open the box, the main units you'll find are the clock itself and the outdoor remote sensor. Uh, you want to remove and discard the plastic layer, and we'll set up the clock. We start with the sensor, so we'll move this away. To start the sensor, to set it up, we slide the battery door down, and we're going to put a pair of fresh alkaline batteries, preferably dated uh, within six years of the current date or later. And we'll close that, and we're going to put that about three to five feet away for the initial startup. The clock itself, we turn it over, the battery door, push up on the tab and the door is opened. And again, alkaline batteries with the same dating protocol. We hear the beep and the clock is started. Now if you're living on the east coast, you're done if you're in the eastern time zone. If you're not in the eastern time zone, we're going to have a couple of things to do. This clock is atomic and it will typically within three to five nights pick up the signal uh, from Fort Collins, Colorado and set the time automatically to the East Coast time zone. You'll notice our indoor and outdoor temperatures are already here. What we're going to do is set the clock as if uh, we were doing a manual set. On the back we have four buttons. The set button, the plus button, the alarm button, and the snooze button. We're just going to use set and plus. When we press the set button we go into a menu and we hold it for a couple of seconds. It shows the time zone. East Coast is standard. We're going to set this one for mountain time, which is a minus seven time zone. We use the plus button to change it. Press the set button again and it shows us DST, daylight savings time, is on. Now if you're in the mountain time zone in Arizona, you're going to want that off and we'll set it that way. We press the plus button, it goes to off. We press the set button once again, and it's showing us that this is in English. We have US for English, we have French, German, and Spanish available. Pressing the set button again, we can set the time, watching for AM and PM. We're going to set this for about 7 AM using the plus button. We click the set button one more time, the minutes are flashing, and we'll make it 10 after. Each click of the plus button, one minute. Click the set button once again, and it's showing us a year code. 05 is not where we are, we're in 2011. We'll use the plus button to set it to 11, and we'll press the set button again. The month is flashing, it is not New Year's Eve, it's August, and press the set button once again. Set the day, today is Wednesday, we'll use the plus button to change. Press the set button once again. We have the option of 12 hour time or 24 hour time. We're going to set it for military time. We'll use the plus button to set it to 24. Pressing the set button one more time. We're in degrees Fahrenheit. We can use the plus button to go to Celsius. Since that outdoor temperature is showing 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to go to Celsius and set it at 37.8. Press the plus button once again and the system is set and operating.